Being born is tough work. So we have Bonnie, who is mildly, every now and then, deciding to not like her little doling. You just saw her. She didn't want her to... I just have to watch. It's like she's just really unsure of her. Are you unsure of her? I think little Miss Bright Eyes is going to become a bottle baby today. Mommy's starting to have signs that she's going to reject her. And I don't know if it's just because she's a little bit slower, but she's very loud. She's always hungry. Um, mommy's starting to butter away. And I don't know if mommy is rejecting because I just went in there and held her and put her back towards the udder. And mom stood and let her nurse for like two or three minutes. And um, now she's butting her <laughs> and like snorting at her. And that might also be mom saying, hey, you've had your breakfast. Go lay down. I know that feeling. But on the other hand, she's a newborn, so she's growing. So I kind of don't want her to be just thrown to the side because mom doesn't feel like feeding her. So I'll probably um, go buy some whole milk and do the whole milk route. I know I have goats with milk, guys. But she's got another buckling. She's not up all the way on her production yet. I can still put her on the stand and let little Miss Thing nurse so that we can try to keep that bond, but I'm gonna have to start supplementing her with something because if the squeaking is because she is hungry, then we have an issue because she'll go downhill eventually. <laughs> she's pee peeing and poo pooing and she's she's maintaining health. She's, she's a voracious little eater when mommy lets her nurse. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Tell me you're a spoiled goat without telling me you're a spoiled goat. Shameful, shameful, shameful. Little Miss Squeaks. Y'all know how I said this morning that I would probably have to go buy a whole milk to adopt or help to support my little chili girl, Miss Bright Eyes. Well, then I forgot that I have saved a bunch of milk for soap from last year. So even though it's been in here for a year, it should still be good. If it's good enough to go in soap, it's good enough to, for a baby goat to drink. So I do not need to go buy whole milk just yet. I just need to get out some milk from last year. <sighs> but I would much rather this go to a baby goat that needs it rather than to soap that I might sell. I don't know, we'll see. But at least I don't have to go get whole milk now. So Bright Eyes yet has another <laughs> another obstacle. I'm really sure. I think her mom, she just tolerated me going in there and putting Bright Eyes underneath of her to let her nurse. But I also had to bring a bottle to Bright Eyes earlier. So I think I'm going to just keep letting her kind of try to get her mom to accept her a little bit more. And uh, hopefully... Bonnie will just come out of it because it's only been like kind of started like last night and today like she's twice three times she's let me put her underneath of her and let her nurse but then when she tries to approach from head on it's like she's she grunts at her and she butts her so I just not hard either it's like it's just kind of like a no you don't need that type deal so I've, I'm supplementing her <laughs> thank god I have all that goat's milk from last year all right guys so, I have an emergency situation. Are you still with me? Are you still with me? Yeah, you're still with me. You're not crying out as much, though. It's kind of trying to get her warmed up. I know. I know. So, 
the emergency situation we had here. This is one of Molly's bucklings from last night. He was up an hour ago walking around. He was a little bit louder than usual, so I helped him latch on. And um, he seemed to quiet right down. You just sometimes you have kids that are just like not with it when they're born. And I don't know if it's because Molly was, it was day 143. So she was a little bit early. But this guy, I came in and he was sprawled out and he had, um, he was just laying on his side screaming. And when I picked him up, his, his head arched back towards um, his rump. Um, usually for like adult goats, that would be a sign for like polio or listeriosis. But because he's so young and hasn't had like a lot, it could still be on the docket. But when I brought him in here, he was really, really cold, really cold, still had a suck reflex but it was cold, couldn't lift up his head. So I, I treated him um, like he had glycemia. So one of the new things that I actually added to my kitting kit this year was dextrose. Um, picked it up at Tractor Supply and it was for reasons like this. I actually had a doling last year that I think if I had known what was going on, I probably could have saved her, but I didn't know what was going on. And after researching later, because I can never let things go, I figured she probably had glycemia as well. Just kind of like the trademark sign. So what I had to actually do for this guy, because the dextrose I picked up from um, Tractor Supply is 50%. Really, you either want you want 20% or 40%. If you have anything higher than to cut it one in one with um, with sterilized water. So I have bottled water. That's all I have on hand. He literally, I feel like was in his death throes. So I went ahead and I diluted that one in one. Um, so I gave two cc's of um, dextrose and two cc's of water and mixed it thoroughly. And I gave it um, in his perineal cavity, which is taking a needle and from his umbilical cord, one centimeter on either side and two centimeters down, you can insert and give um, the dextrose solution. And basically, it goes into their abdominal cavity, which makes their body absorb it really fast so that their sugars go back up and they can start warming themselves back up. Um, you really shouldn't start warming these guys until after you've given the injection. I gave injections. He's in here. Um, this is a heating blanket. He's quiet. He's not doing what he was doing. So I didn't even tempt this guy because his mouth was cold and the way he was acting, it just, you don't need a temperature when they're acting kind of as scary as this guy was acting. So I'm going to give him an hour in here to warm up. He stopped squeaking before he was screaming. So after I give the perineal injection, he he's quieted down and he's warming up now. So mommy still wanted him. I'm not sure what this was. I don't know if it was a, for, a short sight on my part, but I have to just say thank you to Sandy from Sheepishly Me for sharing all the things that you do because that's literally, if this guy makes it, like literally it's because of her. I only know about this and how to do it because of, of Sandy. So hopefully he makes it through. Hopefully he makes it through, little guy. I wanted to show you guys the dextrose that I'm using. This is the dextrose solution that I got from Tractor Supply. And you can see like right on there, it says 50%. And everything I read says it needs to be like 20%. So um, a lot of times you'll get 40%, but they just said one in one. I figure that's good enough for me. And honestly, this is a Hail Mary. Thankfully, I keep like the real, the real tiny little syringes in here. I've got my little... Um, mini measure shot glass even though we don't drink in our house a little bit this has been super awesome for like needing one or two ounces of something so i've got that i've got my dextrose and i keep my dextrose up here with my new floor my banamine and toltorazoril which are a lot of things and oh and some drax um or draxin for people that don't know what draxin is that's for respiratory infections um Flunazine, which is banamine, is basically anti-inflammatory, is a painkiller. Got that for my vet. New floor will also do what Draxin does, but it takes five doses over five days. And this is super thick. And it seems like this really stings, whereas Draxin is like a one and done type shot. I really um, reserve Draxin for when it's, it's dire. Like they really need to just knock pneumonia or they need to knock whatever's going on respiratory wise when I, I don't think I have time on my side, which around this time of year with spring, that's pretty often with the temperature swings we're getting. Yesterday was 20 and snowing today, we're gonna get up to 50. 
and then we're gonna get up into the almost 60s tomorrow and then we're gonna go right back down to like lows and lows in um teens and 20s and highs and 30s so just need to mark my calendar so i don't kid around this time next year hello sir hello oh this oh they're so good they're so good you come right out of it huh you need to warm up a little more for I'll feed you. You need to warm up a little more, okay? What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Sweet little baby faces. Sweet little baby face, huh? Oops. Yeah, you stay. No. Sir, this is not your baby. I like that you want to hold him and be good to him, but... He's not your baby. Okay, I'm gonna let you warm up more, okay? Keep getting better. Oh, I almost forgot. I also gave him a swipe of molasses um, along the gums. This is exactly what I did for Bright Eyes the other day too when she came in really cold. Um, because even if you put it like passively on their gums, their body is still going to absorb through their gum and they, they're going to automatically try to take that in. So that's just a really good quick boost. If you didn't have molasses and you've got caro syrup on hand, that's good. If you want to get super duper pretty fancy, you get some coffee grounds, like finely ground coffee. And you make like a quick little slurry with something like this or the caro syrup and give it to them. It's like magic. It perks them, them way up, but it's basically like going to Starbucks for them. <laughs> but when you need a kid to respond and to have a little bit of life to, to help you help it, godsend. Absolutely a godsend. <sighs> I'm tired. What are you doing there, son? Are you ready to come out? Are you ready to come out? You okay? How we doing? Doing okay? Oh, oh, we really want something, don't we? Oh, we're so hungry. Hold on. Hold on, you gotta open your mouth. You gotta open your mouth. Here you go. Oh, almost. Almost. Here you go. Oh, 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 oh. Can you stand? There we go. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. There you go. Slow down. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Can you stand? Let's see. Can you stand? Are we still a little weak on our feet? Are we still a little weak on our feet? Can we stand? A little? A little? Oh, well, we're, we want to stand. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Are we doing better? Are we going to give him milk coma? Get. Goodness. He acts like he loves you, but he just wants to drink that milk mustache off your face. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. Good boy. What do you think? What do you think? Oh my. Are you full? Oh. Are you full? Jingo's really upset he didn't get offered a bottle. But you did. Mm hmm. You did. You got a little milk mustache? You want to show me your milk mustache? I think it's safe to say he's feeling a lot better. But we're going to go ahead and put him back in here because I want to keep him going in the right direction. One, buddy. One. We want to keep you going in the right direction. Oh. Mm hmm. I know. I know. You want more? <laughs> 